are you ready? Are you ready to conclude your transformational journey? Absolutely. Oh, our next speaker. Ooh, I adore her. Yes. Affectionately known as Share Share. Cheryl is, oh, she's a performance coach right out of the gate. She's a designer. You might recognize her from TV because she was a TV host as well. And, mm, oh my goodness, you are in for such a treat. Are you ready? Are you ready to learn how to shatter your self-imposed limitations? Whatever limitations you might have, activate your inner superpowers and elevate your environment into a space that supports, supports your warrior, warrior transformation. Let's unlock your potential, your potential, and propel you towards the success that you deserve. Share, share, <laughs> share. Woo! I'm so glad you're here. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I am feeling the chills today because of all of this amazing energy from all of the speakers. I've been listening since 11 a.m. and I am committed to learn from all of you. So thank you so much for being here. If you're joining us just now, I'm Cheryl Tornueva and we are going to be talking about super powered success. And you're probably thinking like, what are you talking about, lady? Well, First of all, if you want to take notes, please grab a paper, a pen, whatever you need to make sure you catch some of these golden nuggets. And alternatively, if you just want to sit back and chill out, that is totally cool too. So Vanessa mentioned that I'm a designer, I'm a TV host, but I am adding performance coach to the mix because in my journey, I want to make sure that I am helping people. I don't want to just keep all this information to myself. I want to help people elevate their lives by designing a mindset for success, whether it's for their work, for their space, or just winning at life. And winning is the key. It's not about necessarily getting a medal or even a participation ribbon. It's what is, is in with you, within you to make you feel like you're winning. Now, to me, my clients are all superheroes with these amazing superpowers, meaning they've got these extraordinary abilities beyond capabilities of ordinary humans. And sometimes they just need a little help to find these superpowers. Now, when you were growing up, I am just guessing that you may have had a favorite superhero. Who was that? And what kind of power did they have that you totally admired? Feel free to put it in the chat. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Well, for me, I loved Wonder Woman. I remember getting dressed in cowboy boots, but to me, those were the superpower boots. And I would go around and I'd be like, hey, to my brother, and I would like kick him and he'd be like, ah, oh, can't do anything about it. But I felt powerful, just putting those boots on. I also loved Storm from X-Men. I also loved Jem. Do you remember Jem from Jem and the Holograms? Because when she was Jerrica, she would touch her earrings and that would transform her into this cool rock star. And I loved being able to just dream, really just daydream about becoming something else, some, someone else with superpowers. But most of all, I loved She-Ra. <laughs> so anyone from the 80s, you will know who She-Ra is. Ra actually means God. And she was the princess of power. I think there's like a reboot on Netflix right now with the new improved She-Ra. And the reason why I liked She-Ra was probably because my brother loved He-Man and we only had one TV between the two of us because it was the 80s. <laughs> we didn't have tablets or phones or anything like that. But I loved She-Ra so much that I asked She-Ra, I mean, I asked my parents for a She-Ra birthday. And I actually got my wish. Yep, that's me in the middle. <laughs> Young Cher Cher, look at those bangs. It's, it is a pretty funny picture and uh you know what 
That little me was always very curious. I was shy. I was quiet. And even then, there was a little coach in me. I really wanted to understand the meaning of everything and just like how it all works, how it all connects. And when I didn't know what something was, what do you typically do when you don't know what something is in the 80s? Well, my parents would just say, open the dictionary and maybe you'll figure it out. So one day I figured, I want to know what my name means. And Tanya, I love your presentation because it's all about the name and the meaning, right? Well, I wondered what my name was. And instead of just diving in, I was like, well, I'm going to check out what my friend's names are. So one of my best friends is Sue Ann. Her name meant Lily. Anne meant Grace. Jeff meant peace. April means to open like a flower. So I finally got to my own name, Cheryl, and I don't know what I was looking at, but when I turned to Cheryl, it said little woman, which is weird because in French, it's dear and beloved, right? So, but as a young girl, little woman was what stuck in my mind. So I'm like, okay, great. I'm just a little woman. And yes, as an adult, I'm only five foot three. So yeah, I'm little. But hearing that somehow got into my subconscious and that I always felt like I was small. And why am I telling you this? Because today is all about digging a little deeper. And I am looking for superpowers at all times. And for my clients, I want to make sure that the superpowers that they focus on are not like I'm going to be able to look through a wall or at some point my superpowers are going to get stripped away. I want to know that the superpowers that we focus on are deeply rooted in your core. So I am not here to give you a pep talk or say trust in the universe today. I am here because I see the fire in you. And I refuse to let it flicker out. Now, there are people in this world that absolutely need you, whether it's your children, your friends, people you don't even know yet. And I didn't realize this until I went through my own transformation. And the biggest part of that transformation started about a year ago when I actually took action. But it really was maybe nine years ago where I was just like not understanding what is happening. Something needs to get out of me. And so you'll be learning all of this as we go throughout my, my talk. But before we embark on this journey, because I'm going to make you feel something today, this is like the key word of today, feel, I want to share a piece of my superpower as a coach. And that's going to be my gift to you. So if you're wondering, like, what is my superpower today? What is she talking about? You're going to have a gift right now. And it, again, it's more powerful than being able to change the weather. It resonates really deeply for our quest for success and personal growth. And it's called empathetic resilience. What that means is it's combining empathy, resilience, and the ability to have and create positive transformation. You're going to be able to start listening a little deeper understanding other people's struggles. And as a coach, that is like the number one thing. Just listen. Don't even interrupt. Now, resilience comes in because you can support and uplift the people around you. It's pretty cool, right? Like feeling that strong, feeling like someone can lean on you, right? Like when your children come to cry on you, you lift them up, you support them, you give them a hug. And you also want to be able to have this transformative power so you can turn difficult situations into positive experiences. Now, I can do the exact same thing when it comes to interior design. I can create an amazing space that will make you feel a totally different way. And when you watch these shows, right, and it started with like, what, trading spaces back in the day, you see people crying, right? They're feeling something. So we can do that both in ourselves, in our minds, but also in our spaces. And I'm so glad that I was able to listen to Kate this morning about Feng Shui because it was a reminder to myself that like, I need to put in some effort into my bedroom. I need to 
start feeling like I own my space. It's a lot, right? It's a lot when you're trying to fix yourself, fix your space, all the things. So just trust me when I say that my journey totally embodies empathetic resilience, okay? Because I was told we took a chance on you for pursuing TV hosting, despite the fact that I have a degree in interior design. And I busted my butt to get there. So when someone said I took a chance on you, I didn't give up. I was also told I should be fired at one point. But I stood my ground saying, no, this is what I believe in. This is what I'm creating. This is why you need to follow my lead. So I was showcasing resilience in the face of opposition. Now, I also put my career first instead of having a family, having children, only to be told later that I wasn't able to get my dream show at the same time that I was pregnant. Even though I was told I can have it all, you can be on camera, don't worry, it's all good. So really, when I got to that point where I reached this peak and I had everything, I was told that wasn't the case. So how do you explain these things? I have no idea. So also when I got to the top, I suffered from panic attacks, anxiety, and personal struggles. So trust me, I have been there, and that's why I want to be able to be there for you. So one of my biggest superpowers is to be your catalyst. I've got this unique ability to spark positive change and inspire transformation in people's lives through motivation, empowerment, specifically by design. And I want to make sure that I can ignite this process of growth and improvement, helping you reach your full potential and achieving your goals. Pretty cool, right? (laughs) I think so. So I saw this chart and I wanted to share it with you today. Some of you may have seen it before. Some some of you may have not. So it could be a refresher. But we are going to feel something today. And I want to take you through the bottom all the way to the top. Because it's important to feel what it's like in your body when things are not good. Things are not right. And this can also happen when you are in a space that also carries these kinds of emotions. I heard this as well today, right? You walk into a space and it's cluttered. How do you feel? How does it make everyone around you walking into that space feel? Why do we go on vacations? Because we feel better, right? So a quote that I want to share with you is, the universe responds to frequencies. And by aligning yours with your desires, you set the stage for serendipities. And I felt those serendipities. I remember going to Cartagena, Colombia last May, and I saw and felt and experienced all these serendipities. And you're like, what? This doesn't even make sense. All of a sudden, things, lines, all these things crossed. They all sort of met. Like I met people from my past who were there 20 years later. Does it make sense? But as we go through the motions, you're going to start feeling where in your body and where you need to access this when you're not feeling good. So if you can just take a deep breath right now. I'm going to take you through something super fun. Let's do two more deep breaths. One more. Now this graph here that we're looking at is going to take you all the way from shame and guilt, which is 20 and 30, nobody wants to be there, all the way up to 700, which is the idea of enlightenment. So we're going to take this moment to just start feeling things in our body. So I want you to really listen to the music. Close your eyes if you want to. Feel free to breathe. 
We're going to start at 20. This is where we feel guilt. When was the last time you felt guilty? When's the last time you felt shame? Could have been today. Could have been five minutes ago. Where in your body do you feel it the most? Was it in your stomach? Where was it? How did it make you feel? Did it bring up sadness? Let it circulate in your body. Are your shoulders moving tight? Breathe it out. <laughs> We're going up to here. This is 100. This is where most of us feel super stuck. Fear of success. Fear of what our partner's going to say. Oh. Breathe it all out. Now this does not feel good, does it? I think we need to go somewhere else. I think we need to get higher. You're with me. I'm going to take you to another place that feels way Hi. So we're looking at the clouds. We're looking at the sky. And I was inspired by this because over the past year, I listened to Christy Marie Sheldon's morning meditation, taking in the love and above energy. Which at first, I was like, I don't want to hear her voice right now. Too much, too much. But as I started making it a habit, started incorporating this into my life as something that I would look forward to, I started to understand why love and above energy is so important. And to feel this together today is so special. Because everyone here has the same mindset. We all want to make ourselves better, our minds better, our spaces better. We are here together as warrior women. Take, take, take a deep breath in. We're going to be in love and above for a little longer than that last because it's way more fun being here, way more dreamy, way more encouraging. And then speaking of courage, that's when we go a hundred more than fear. You think courageous is all well, the way up at 500, but it's at two. It's not far from fear. I was telling JP, who brought all of us amazing we're women together, that something amazing is going to happen. You're going to feel different after today. I promise you. So take a deep breath in again. Let it all out. Because as we move up to love, which is 500, it's a big jump. That's when we have all, all the good vibes running through our veins. We don't feel stress in our shoulders anymore. Our face is relaxed. Do you remember the first time you saw your partner? Do you remember that last time you shared an amazing cake with your BFF? Glass of wine. Do you remember the time your child was born? that love you felt when you were looking down at them that love gives you power 
makes you feel like you're a stupid human. So I want you to start thinking about putting your hands on your hips and being in that courageous stance, that powerful stance. Shoulders back, breasts out, you have them. Smile. This is the confident you. This is the new you. This is the person who can connect from fear, from guilt and shame, to me, courage and love in a matter of minutes. You can access this at any time. Such a wonderful power that you can have. And as we go up to joy, which is 540, we smile a little bit more. We get more playful. So that softness and fun comes into play really good. You can stretch. You know, in yoga where you just stretch a little bit deeper, that's what you're feeling right now. Feels so good. And we're getting to peace, which is 600. And the ultimate goal, right, is 700, which is enlightenment. And if you don't get to 700, that's okay right? Like that's like the Olympics of feeling. But if you do, whenever it is, savor that moment, be present in that moment. So feel free to use this scale anytime you want to shift your vibration really quickly, or you're at work and someone just like pisses you off. Well, just look at that scale for a second and be like, yo, I can get there in two seconds. I'm going to remove myself from this space. I am changing my environment and I am going to breathe in that love and above energy. And feel like a super powered person. <laughs> so right now, we're going to dive in to the share blueprint. And it goes back to my name. And share is my nickname because Cheryl, I don't know, because I'm Filipino. I just, we always have nicknames. So it's share, share, right? So I figured if I want to be able to share something with the world, it has to be deeply rooted into my soul. I need to figure this out. I love that whole thing, being able to represent something in life. So as an interior designer, the spaces that were my most successful were not just about friends. They got personal. Sometimes I actually felt like I was a therapist and I was solving couples problems. And I'm like, really? Like it's, it's, we're picking paint, <laughs> we're gonna like redo your kitchen. But the idea of having a personal space and creating energy is really profound. That's the superpower, right? Like putting a combination of different materials, being able to put together a program to help someone succeed. I mean, that is a superpower in itself and it can affect our mood can affect the people around us. And so if we want to be able to support our mindset, we need to look carefully about how we're going to how we're going to make this happen. So I developed this to make it really clear. And today we have we're going to get a glimpse of what this means. But we're going to learn how to create, heal, energize and restore. And this can go both for how you perform in your life, and also how you look at your space. So create. This is where I want you to set an intention. You can do this in your mind or you can write it down and figure out who you want to show up as in the world. This can be through a drawing. You can just even say, I want to be the best mother. I want to be, you know, someone that has you know, just the idea of compassion in life. I want to be able to create harmony in my life. One of my clients said, I have the ability to create harmony. I mean, how cool is that, right? Bringing balance to the world. We all need that, right? So every one of us is going to have a different combination. So figure out the characteristics, the elements that you want to create for this super powered superpowered human hero, shiro. So jot those down. 
And we also want to be able to cultivate a growth mindset. So we want to introduce the idea of having strategies of not feeling like I can't, having the idea that you can have multiple options for any of the challenges that you face. And so for me, I don't know if it's a designer in me, we always do things in groups of threes. So if you have an issue, make sure you always have three different solutions, right? This, this could be anything like, you know, I, I've, this room has bad energy. What are the three things that I can do to change this? Maybe it's lighting, maybe it's color, maybe it's texture. Vanessa talked about going shopping and feeling textures. I love that, right? You can switch things up doesn't have to be a huge budget. You can control how you want to solve these problems. Now, for me, speaking of being inspired and changing things up in textures, a lot of people use Pinterest as their inspiration, right? I want you to remember one thing. The pictures that are posted on Pinterest are also someone else's space. So you have to be very careful to make sure that these are totally aligned with what you want, right? Even in fashion, whatever that person's wearing, that's them. So you can totally get inspired. But I love for my clients to use AI tools, whether it's through Canva, removing backgrounds, or even AI like MidJourney, to be able to create images and inspiration that are totally designed for you with the colors that you want, with the values that you have, All of these are important so that your vision can really come to life. Now, we're talking about superpowers. We've been talking about this all day. Okay, superpowers. Yes. Okay, so let me know in the chat what your superpower is. All right. Now, I want you to just pause for one second because sometimes when you ask these questions, it may feel like it's simple, but sometimes it can bring other feelings to the mix. So some of you might felt might have felt excited. Some of you might have felt, oh, this is going to be fun. So a little humor. You might have felt empowered. This is a moment for you to have some self-reflection. But some of you may have felt a little confused, a little anxious, pressure, insecure, and that's okay. It's important to figure out what our weaknesses is, weaknesses are so we know how to improve. So feel free to write that down. Whatever feeling, where in your body you felt that. Because trust me, when I was asked to do the this summit, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm an interior designer all my life as a coach. I still feel like a newbie, but I have so much to give. So I even myself had to go through that, this exercise, right? What are my superpowers? So today we're going to actually go through that. And I'm going to give you some ideas because superpowers don't have to be surface level. I actually encourage you to go deeper And think about using your core values. So I made a list here. I'm going to put a little music on as well so that you can take a moment to figure out what your core values are. Feel free to use any other ones that give you some inspiration. Or maybe you really want to redo it and that's okay. So let's just a few minutes, maybe even just one minute. And write down what your core values are, your superpowers are. It's so good. So good. I love this exercise. Now, for me, Nueva Rosa is all about courage, creativity, and confidence. Just to you an example. Just so happens to be three C's because it's all about share. Yeah. All right, so we're going to just have maybe a few more seconds. 
to be able to do this. Can't wait to see all your new superpowers show up in the chat. Hola. Now, this question, and I loved hearing this in Kate's presentation too. What does your space look like? How does it feel? We are so aligned. I love this. Um, when you have your core values set, this can easily translate into the space that you create as well at home. So I encourage you to have a safe space, okay? This can be a bedroom. This can be your office. It might even just be a corner, right? A little vignette. It could be a table. It could be an altar, whatever it is. This is going to be your safe house, your your calming corner, right? Where you can actually feel so good, so powerful and translate this using elements of interior design. Maybe it's soft fabrics. Maybe it's color. Maybe you're being playful and bold with your color because you're a leader. You want to be able to create emotion, whatever it is. Play around with this. And it's funny, someone asked me, what's my favorite store to shop in? And right now it's anthropology because every time I walk in there, I've got all the senses going, right? I mean, that's how you, they hook you, right? <laughs> it smells good. You've got beautiful fashion. It's curated. They have home decor, everything you need. And that experience makes you feel like you're in a totally different world. And as you use your core values and this trickles down into your space, you start to feel more supported. You walk around differently. You look forward to going to this space every day. And I'm going to give you an example later. You'll see. The transformation is so important, right? The same thing as being able to declutter. Take the time to do that. So important, right? So we've created right? We, we've set some intentions. We looked at our core values and we're seeing how we can apply this to our space. And now we're going to be moving on to heal. Okay. And this is where we're going to address the emotional and mental blocks that we all have that can really act like our kryptonite. Our kryptonite to our ambitions, the setbacks, the stress, the past traumas. And honestly, they do not stand a chance if we are resilient and we are emotionally intelligent powerhouses, okay? So one of the things that we need to do when we're thinking about healing is being able to manage our stress and anxiety, all right? So think of a few techniques that really helped you in the past, right? If you notice a lot of the speakers today did breathing, Right? Some of us need three breaths. Some of us need an hour breath. Some of us need to just be really quiet. Write down what works for you. Sometimes I just need to get out of the space, out of the stressful space, be in nature. Right, So these mindful exercises are going to be key in the healing process. You also want to define what your past traumas are and what those setbacks are because you can always look at how did I react to that situation? How am I going to be different now that I have a different mindset, that I have my superpowers working for me? And when we think about the lies that we tell ourselves every single day, I want you to remember that you can easily tap into an exercise where you step outside of where you are right now, just take a step back, move out of that body, and look at yourself as if you were your best friend. And if you said, hey, Cher, is it true? I'm feeling really fat today. I don't feel confident that I can be on stage. Is that true? And your best friend would say, uh, what are you talking about? You got this. Just a few minutes ago, I had three people tell me, you got this, Cher. And once I heard that, I could step right back into my superpower blazer from Zara. <laughs> so healing 
And recognizing our traumas and our setbacks will actually start to fuel and light that fire underneath us. It's a really cool feeling. So I encourage you to look at them, study them, learn from them, and see how we can grow. And I also think that building your safe house is super, super important. And like, what does that space look like? Okay, so remember, healing is about recognizing fear of judgment, fear of success. Why am I so scared? Was it from when I was a child? Maybe. Why do I have these limiting beliefs? Why do they keep playing over and over and over again? And maybe I need to create a support system to help me. And that's okay because there's so much support out there. So much support. Now, look at this space. (laughs) A cluttered mind equals a cluttered space. It, I don't even understand how you could work there. So I want you to remember this picture. We're going to look at it a little bit later, but it is, yeah, you can tell. The energy, the effort that's put in there, clearly whoever sits in that chair does not have time, does not have the capacity, the superpowers to make change. But we're not judging. We are recognizing and learning how we can help this person, okay? We're going to move on to energize. This is one of my favorite things, right? When you... You recognize where you're not doing well and you're like, oh, yay, I can stretch a little bit. I'm going to energize. I'm going to boost my productivity and learn how we can just make us as humans a priority. We can recharge our batteries. We can learn how to conquer burnout. And we can prioritize our well-being and watch the energy skyrocket. Sometimes I just love that feeling of like when that coffee just like starts the hit and you're like yeah this is great or you're around people who have the same energy as you and you're like this is so awesome you're like winning races you're doing things together so in order to do that it's important to prioritize self-care right so many of the women today talked about self-care and wellness habits what are yours feel free to write them down what works what isn't working And one of the things that I found that are super, super, super um, helpful, is super helpful for me anyways, has been breaking things down into five minutes. Half an hour to me is like too much time. I have a daughter. She's five years old. She's constantly looking for my attention. And five minutes can feel like a lot, can feel like I have so much. I can do so much in five minutes, which is amazing. So I time box meaning I put things in my schedule, I set those five minutes or 10 minutes, and I know that I can achieve something in those 10 minutes. And I'm moving the needle forward, right? Whether it's in your space, maybe today I'm going to clean a drawer. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to take some of my old clothes to um, a charity, whatever it is. Whatever is working, keep doing it more, all right? We also want to be able to find motivation, so that you can stay focused, right? What are your strategies for staying motivated, right? When you get distracted, what do you do? Do you call a friend? Do you check your Instagram? What do you do? My husband right now has a timer. It's awesome. He's like, you know what? I have a timer. I'm going to stay focused. It's all good. So whatever works for you, make sure that you incorporate that into your routine. (sighs) Ah. Yes, I love this. I love this. I'm feeling like the good, good vibes. Now, I wanted to show you a mood board that I created because when we have our values aligned, when we understand what's happening in our core, we can start to feel the calmness. Things start to make sense. Things start to trickle into every area of your life. So this is not a Pinterest board that I created on Pinterest. This is a board that I created 
using the tools that I have available to me, right? I put, I was able to put in my values, put in the colors, put in the textures so that I could create an organized, simple mood board that represents me. Only me. Share, share. That's it. And it doesn't mean that when we're, our goal is to create these transformations that we have to spend a lot of money, right? I started watching Trading Spaces, okay? So um, I know what it's like to only have a really small budget. But I know when I have a big budget, I'm going to use it widely and I'm going to use it for impact, right? I'm going to be able to do bigger things. So we can all create these mood boards, these vision boards, and you'll see a big difference than doing things the old way. Now, you saw the cluttered office. That was my office. And I hate to admit it, but I'm going to admit it because I was in trouble. I felt the shame, the guilt, the pressure of having a beautiful office space as an interior designer on TV. But at the time, I was feeling anxiety, depression to the mask, to the ma- max, sorry, postpartum blues. And it all blocked me from achieving the success that I deserved, right? I lost my identity. I was, a, I was doing this all my life. That was my superpower. But all of this on top of me, not sleeping, not having the time, not even feeling like I could be superpower share because I wasn't working, I hit rock bottom. I was cracked open. And I finally made the decision to awaken and leave my old self behind so that I could find the powerful warrior within me so that I could create my safe space, my healing space. So you'll see the after. That's my office now. And I've also included a space for my daughter so that she can play and learn alongside me. (sighs) It's my little like, anthropology (laughs) vibes, but I can create there. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't get cluttered. It does. But for the most part, I know where I need to go. Whenever I lose my way, create, heal, energize, restore. Create, heal, energize, restore. All right. (sighs) So now we go to restore. Okay, so I have this picture up because I have to show it to you. This is after I decided and I bought my ticket to go to Cartagena, Colombia to AFEST by Mind Valley. And I was like, I'm going. I'm going by myself. I'm going to rock it. I don't know anyone else. And I am going to feel like I have a superpower. I'm going to feel like a queen. This is my chance. And I am not going to stop until I find the new share. And I did which is so, so awesome. So you want to be able to find ways to sustain your long-term success. That's where we make things better. That's where we make things alive again, right? And we can do that through gratitude. We can do that through mentorship. We want to be able to continue to have our superpowers and practice. We can embrace all of the failure that we go through and we can use them as stepping stones so that we have all these like essential ingredients for this recipe called life, right? So as I mentioned, you know, if you need to write things down, that's great. Journaling is amazing. And I actually just finished a self-care journal that I'm going to be launching in the next couple of weeks. I'm so excited It's an eight-week journey, and uh, I think it's going to be really helpful because it kind of has everything you need from gratitude to how to take action, quotes, all that stuff. So again, with your superpowers, you can do anything. You can help others. You can tap into so many things in your life that you never thought you could do before. You can create things, right? 
And I want you to be able to build a support network, the best support network, and seek mentorship from people around the world. There are people who are watching today that you may have never met before, but you will become friends with. Isn't that exciting? Oprah, if you're watching, we have the same birthday. <laughs> now, I feel really grateful because in this process of creating this, let's say, talk, this framework, I was able to meet some amazing allies. And I want you to write down who your allies are because these are mine. When I feel weak, when I feel like I'm going to be knocked down, these are the people who I'm going to call. So every speaker here has become an ally, thanks to JP from the Next Steps Academy. And I'm actually going to be working with Tanya on our very first interactive workshop. So I'm going to try and leave the link here if I can. And if not, feel free to reach out to us. But you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what kind of synchronicities are going to happen when you are in your superpower mode. You can create success in all areas of your life. It's so, 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 so cool. Now, I want you to just remember what we've talked about today. There's so much, right? I want you to set yourself up for success. Surround yourself with the things that really make you happy that support your core values and your vision. And I wanted to share these pictures with you today because when you have the two working together, you as this high performer, someone with superpowers and amazing values, and you pair that with an environment that totally supports you, you are in your element. And I've been trying to do this, not just for myself, but for my family, for my clients, and even in my work on television to be able to share those ideas, those tips with people around the world so that they can feel empowered, that they can do it too. So you really just had a chance to have a taste of this blueprint. There's so much more work to do for sure. And we talked about the Shiro in you, which is a really cool <laughs> heroes, whoever's watching. Um, but I want to remind you that feeling the love and above frequencies will also get you into that state whenever you feel like you're knocked down and you don't have your superpowers working. Okay. You know who to call on. And I wanted to give you a little confession <laughs> because part of my weakness is procrastination. But what ends up happening when I procrastinate is sometimes I get these like sparks of creativity. I told JP this. I'm like, yo, uh, I got to update my slides because I had a better idea. So actually two nights ago, I changed my presentation because I got a download in my dream. I got a spark. And I decided that I really wanted to incorporate she into the presentation. And I thought, what does this mean? Why is this happening? I'm an adult. Why she What? So <laughs> if you look at the difference there, little Cher with the she hat and me now as the she Ro, C-H-E, Ro, um, it's important to tell the story of she now, because I had to just Google it, right? So it says here, she demonstrated a series of other abilities, which appear to be more nurturing in nature, such as empathetic understanding. Okay. What did we talk about in the beginning? Empathetic resilience. She also focuses on mental communication with animals and healing. I am all about healing spaces. Now it also says Shira 
says pretty much the same thing through animation. In fact, the show is very clear that relationships that focus on power and control are the ones that become toxic and harmful. And that letting go of control and trusting other people is how you build a healthy and happy life. So at the end of the day, I had no idea that watching Shira every weekend as a little woman would actually help me become the Shiro or Shero that I can now be for you. Ah, so as I close this beautiful summit, I want you to remember this. You are not just capable. You are extraordinary. Extraordinary. And your journey to superpowered success aligned with your superpowered space begins now. It would be my absolute pleasure to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So feel free to connect with me on Instagram or at Nueva Rosa Coaching or on my website or DM me, whatever you want to do. And I wanted to thank you for celebrating all the women warriors together. And I want to invite you to a little dance party because <laughs> we all need to celebrate a little. Let's dance. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed everything today. I'm going to hand it over to Vanessa again. It's been a blast. Share, share. That was outrageous. What a way to end an amazing day that we have had. <laughs> we have taken it uh, from uh, <laughs> the very beginning. It's it's life. Life is sex. <laughs> it is. It's how, it's how it starts. Right? <laughs> and then we've gone all the way through all of the blessings and the beauty and the synchronicities, and you're absolutely right. I'm honored to be one of your allies. I'm yes. honored to be an ally for the other women that we had here. Oh, my gosh. We started off the day with Chloe. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, good. I know itself. And then we went to Kate and Secret Spaces and then Katie May about parenting. Oh, I learned so much. Yes. And then Tanya True. My oh. girl. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh. And then we had a little itty bitty break, just a little itty bitty break because there was so much, so much to give. It was action packed. Yes, yes, yes. And then I got a chance to speak other than just introducing everybody. And oh, you're amazing, by the way. Like amazing. I need I'm gonna go to my mirror tonight and just be like, you got this. <laughs> You got this. You got that this. mirror, mirror on the wall. You know, uh, not for nothing. You know, Snow White's uh, wicked stepmother, grandmother. What was it? Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of bad rap for that. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And then, of course, we had wonderful Wendy. Ah, oh, what wisdom about a topic that just we don't talk about enough. We just don't talk about it enough. It seems like we get to a certain point in our lives where we should be able to talk about anything. We need help, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And then you, oh, oh my gosh. I, I, oh, yeah. I want to go out dancing now. Right? I want to, you know, go get my, pick up my cape from the cleaner because I dropped it off there, you know, because I was everything to everybody for way too long. But now I want it back. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to cloak myself in it. Yes, and I agree. Yes, as children, we love dressing up as our superheroes. And, you know, there there aren't many of them. 
there aren't many no. women and then that, that's something that we need to we need to change we absolutely need to change that i think we need to potentially even model these super heroes after some of our friends our allies and we can do this now right yeah we have, the, we have ai we got that yes we can absolutely do that We'll make that happen. We'll put that into the VIP package. Oh, well. yes. I love that. Ooh, it's going to oh. be glorious. Absolutely. This has been fantastic. This has been a great day. And we we all, all of the speakers that you have had, ah, the opportunity to hear and share the day with and share those moments in time and all those golden nuggets that you talked about, we all have to thank jp for bringing us all together without a doubt where we're yes, JP, the, man. the man the man behind this the one who honors women who sees their brilliance and wants to just showcase them and say hey i'm going to give you a platform you know uh, next steps academy oh my gosh the production here we all are and this was all put together, his brainchild to to bring women together to support each other in such a profound way. It's absolutely magical. And everyone here today is so much stronger, so much more powerful. And just feeling a lot of gratitude today because without JP... We would all be doing our thing. And now we are working together. Did, did, okay, this is going to date me too. Remember Voltron? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're like, <laughs> I'll be the arm or whatever, right? Like he's in the head and we're like all the other pieces. But like we've just created something beautiful. And I, I really hope that we can continue to do this on a regular basis because, whew. It's just good vibes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely annual. <laughs> Without it, that, I love the idea of annual, but yeah, yeah. We'll do it much more often than that. And all the synchronicities that are going to happen. And all of us, I believe, either have been a featured guest or will be a featured guest on uh, JP's podcast, which is outstanding. What a platform. Uh, amazing. I believe, and he's going to correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know why he's suddenly being shy and not coming on screen. I believe he's well over a hundred episodes. There he is. The match on the hour. Woohoo. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank, Thank you guys. That was amazing. So good. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. There he was. The man <laughs> behind the scenes. Oh, but it has been an absolutely glorious, glorious time together. So much wisdom, so many gold golden nuggets. You all have the replay, which is great. And all the show notes will include how to get in touch with us. Again, we wanted to make this day about you, solely about you, to hear from women who have stepped into their authenticity, into their superpower, and are here as a testament to let you know it is so possible for you. We are here. Ah, there she is. The woman who started the day. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Absolutely. Thank you so much for kicking us off today and share, share for closing us out today. We had an amazing time. We hope that you ah, feel our energy, feel our love, feel our support. We are here for you. Reach out to any one of us with anything that you might need because we're here to help you in any way that we can with a variety of topics. That's what we're here for. And we hope that you have... Oh, there she is! Yes, yes, yes. I'm in the room, Joey does. Yes, Absolutely. It has been an amazing day. So I'm going to let each of the amazing women close us out with something that they want to share with you. Chloe, would you like to, since you started the day, would you like to start with the final closeout? 
a final thought? Welcome. Let's welcome ourselves home. That is what I would wish for all of us and, and every person who turned up here. We ha we're welcoming ourselves home. And every woman who spoke today gave us a key piece in how to do that. And I'm, I'm going to take that with me also. So thank you so much. Mm, beautiful. Tanya True. Well, I just want to thank everybody for being here on a Saturday. And I wanted to just celebrate everybody who showed up, who's played full out. Thank you. Thank you for just stepping into that warrior within you. And I can't wait to see where everybody's going to be, how you're all going to shine. So with gratitude, thank you for showing up. Mm -hmm. Share, share. <laughs> I just want everyone to be the best version of yourself. It can be messy. It can be raw. Whatever it is, let's be who we really are. Let your, let your superpowers shine because at the end of the day, we run the world. Just like Beyonce says, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Woman warriors run the world. Let's do absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely. And Wendy, Wendy, ah, Wonder Woman. Yay! I I had to go pick up my grandson, so <laughs> that's why I was kind of like MIA, and I just got and I heard you guys talking. I'm like, oh, they're talking. They're still on. So yeah. So a final thought for our audience. Uh, Wendy, any any final thoughts for the audience? I see. <laughs> you know, I think that we all had a common theme. And it was, the message was consistently, you own your power. You can take control. Don't live in fear and operate from a place of love. And um, I was reading Conversations with God last year, and there's a part in there that says, we there's two basic emotions, love and fear. And most of the time we're coming from a place of fear, which is what Tanya talked about. And if we move in love, all of our transitions, our journeys are so much easier, regardless of what battle we're facing. Mm, so true. So true. So well said. Well, I'm going to do one final quote, and then we're going to close out for the day. We want to thank everyone for being here, being with us, sharing your Saturday with us. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Well, somebody said it really well. Life moves pretty fast. It does. And if you don't stop and look around every once in a while, you could miss it. Yeah, you could miss it. Ah, Ferris Bueller. Amazing. I'm totally dating myself. I know that. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. We truly, truly appreciate it. We look forward to hearing from you. <laughs>